Yeah. Yo, watch this yawn to the end, fam. Yo, what's cracking? What's cracking, YouTube family? Shalom. Which just means peace, if you didn't know. I'm sitting here eating my breakfast. I was super tired. I was going to do this video yesterday and upload it this morning, but got delayed. So, today I'm going to be reviewing uh, the brother Bizzle, Christian rapper, um, you know, veteran, legend, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, got famous for attacking the music industry for the demonic behavior, uh, specifically Jay-Z. Um, and like, you know, hit the ground running and the brother been doing legendary stuff ever since um, Got a roster full of legendary artists. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Jared Sanders Dayton um, I'm out of the loop. So I don't know if they got more artists now. They had seven on a team for a little while uh, the brother Zadok uh, <coughs> The brother bumps they got they got some they got some some heat over there. So um, Today I'm gonna be reviewing um, a song that he just dropped and uh, as I listen to the song I'm like man I, do people understand the gravity of these lyrics because you know I took a lot of heat um, I never announced to CHH or Christian hip hop the Christian hip hop community I never announced what I was looking into because I was still researching but there were some people who jumped the gun and trying to condemn me uh, for saying that we could be uh, the lost tribe of Judah or not necessarily lost tribe But we could be one of the lost tribes specifically the tribe of Judah over here in uh, North America United States, right? So I got a lot of flack for that um, Pretty much people just went crazy trying to go in saying I turned my back on the Messiah But basically it was a bunch of evangelicals mad because I wasn't a Trump supporter <laughs> mad because uh, I wasn't co-signing their doctrines. So fast forward, you know, this is, that was 2020 going into 2021. Fast forward at the end of 2022, we got the brother Bizzle, um, probably in my opinion, the biggest artist in CHH, uh, you know, doing something, doing something major by dropping a song and having a conversation based on Revelation 2.9, uh, the, the scripture that talks about those who, at first, it talks about the real Israelites, you know, that how they're in poverty and how they're in tribulation. Uh, but then it, at the end of the verse, it talks about those who call themselves Jews who are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. And um, this is, a, this is a, a deep subject in these days. It's a lot of confirmation. So it's, I'm interested in seeing um, what comes out of this. I'm talking too much. Let's get into the song and let's start reacting. Yo, hope y'all can see me. This is my first time doing this. You know what I mean, so let's get right into this song. See what he talking about. Bizzle got over money. Yeah, I just been sitting back. I right, was watching, taking in information, not jumping to conclusions. They try to play on our emotions so much. I like to just sit back and wait for the dots to connect. It sucks watching people sleep. sleep I understand now why the higher ups call people sheep uh, They go where you send them uh, Of all the things that should offend them They only focus on what you tell them should upset them oh. I remember this music exec Told me the people are sheep Most of them stupid as heck Focus on you, get a check But I refuse to mislead people If you them as less Just to be mocked by the same people I choose to protect It's like I'm back in the day Going against mass and getting attacked by the slaves Taking my lashes while they laughing away Cause they don't know that I was trying to free them uh, They played a clip for them Told them I was trying to leave them uh, I found out they putting poison in what they feed us They kill us slow from the inside and make us weaker They said he's trying to steal your food He wants your children to starve They showed a picture of me burning all the shit we've been eating Cause when the truth make them shook of me They drum up a case If they can change how you look at me You'll laugh while they whooping me in front of your face The right narrative can bury who they want to erase Remember Lauren Hill spoke up? Crazy Chappelle didn't want to wear a dress when he left he was crazy Ye was in the bed with their celebrities Calling himself Jesus But when he met Jesus mm. Crazy Trump was they buddy. buddy They all got money. money Before he ran for 
president, these same folks love me. I wonder what changed though. Is it cause he racist or wouldn't like the White House up like a rainbow? You don't find it funny that the same Grammys and Oscars we call racist claim to hate him because of that? A whole industry that promotes evil consistently. Now they hate evil and shame people who disagree. Some of Alright. <laughs> he said a lot. He said a lot so far. So one thing that I always uh, liked about Bizzle is that he can articulate what he's trying to say. Uh, it almost seemed like it's it's just effortless. Like he can get the point across that he's trying to get across. Um, and basically, he gave some instances of hypocrisy. You know what I'm saying? He gave some instances where people were speaking out and was called crazy for doing so. And basically showing you how there's a system where there are people who, I call it the matrix, you know what I'm saying? He said they call you sheep. Um, basically, you in this system where if they tell you this is what it is, that's what you're going to go by. So if they tell you that this, if they portray somebody who's being righteous and telling truth in a in a dark way, you're going to go by what they're telling you instead of going by the fact that this person is being brave and speaking the truth. Um, <clears throat> I struggle with those folks. I struggle mightily with those folks so uh also what did he dig into he said uh he said something about trump um and while i have my personal opinion like i do believe that uh trump is racist for sure but i think that that got pushed like he said because he didn't support a certain agenda but at the same time man you know me personally i'm not putting this on bizzle me personally you know a lot of that p political stuff is two two uh two wings on the same bird if you understand what I'm saying like for me as a black man with a black family I don't see uh much of what these folks do as beneficial at all you know what I'm saying but that's that's just my personal opinion uh, I'm I'm gonna stay out of that conversation uh <clears throat> what else did bro the brother get into uh yeah I think that sums it up like he he calling out the hypocrisy he calling out how the system is controlling your perspective if you caught in the matrix. So let's continue. Let's see what else he's going to get into. He bring on himself and so do Ye, though. You can't meet with him, agree with him, or say his name, no. But call you a coon, Uncle Tom, and say you ain't black. You wonder why Joe Biden feel comfortable enough to say that? Isn't that the same way you used to manipulate cats, calling you homophobic when you don't agree with their plans? Black folks running the same plays the gays ran, because black lives didn't matter till we shook their hand. Then it was first gay NFL player black. Then it was first gay NBA player black. Then they had a wedding at the Grammys presented by him and a black rapper and guess who officiated that a black woman uh, they used our oppression as a tool for protection and sympathy as a weapon just like you mm. i see the dots start connecting as these fake jews call yay anti-semitic uh, history of oppression uh, you can't disagree with them sympathy is a weapon if you do you mistreating them they ripped the black billionaire in front of your face to say no matter how rich you get stay in your place nigga promote sex drugs murder all right let's stop there real quick <laughs> He going hard. He going hard. So you heard what he said. He said fake Jews calling, calling yay anti-Semitic. Now, I mean, I think it's way too much information at this point for people to still be. This this is really just a struggle for Christians. I keep it hundred with y'all because, like, once you start digging into the terminology that these people are using and the history of these people, it's a no-brainer what they on. So. A lot of times in America, a lot of y'all are trying to do the whole, it's not all of them, but at the same time, it's none of the ones that ain't doing it that's going against it. They not they not being promoted. They not being pushed. It's a handful of them that, are, that them wrote some books and stuff, exposing it, exposing their own people. But as soon as you bring that up, the, the Christians are discredited. You start bringing up Arthur Kessler. You start bringing up these different authors and historians that'll tell you like, these folks been around for a long time. These folks was pushing the slave trade. These folks played a huge role in the Civil War. These folks played a huge war. I mean, had a huge role in uh, Jim Crow laws and that type of stuff. A lot of y'all still don't even understand that conversation. Y'all don't understand how deep this conversation goes. Uh, but if the if the scripture is going as far as calling them the synagogue of Satan, you need to be wiser and think about why the scripture would go that far 
with these people. It's deeper. Number one is the scripture called it blasphemy that they call themselves Jews, called it blasphemy. So a lot of y'all Christians run with this narrative of it don't matter who the Israelites are. Why would the most high, why would he say it's blasphemous for somebody to pretend to be Jews? And I know I've seen Christians call themselves Jews knowing that they ain't Jews. So that's a whole nother conversation. Um, but it does matter to the most high who the Jews are. It's all through scripture. It's no way you can read the Tanakh, what, what a lot of people look called the Old Testament. There's no way you can read that and be like, yeah, it don't matter who the Jews are. We all won. That's ridiculous. Um, of course, there are sojourners. That's not new. That was always there in the beginning, but they had to come alongside Israel. They had to come up under Israel. And I think that's the conversation that a lot of Christians struggle with. Uh, and I'm not putting what I'm saying on Bizzle, but it's clear that he is identifying these people that y'all are calling the ish people. He's identifying them as fake. Um, and at this point, I don't know how a lot of y'all ain't seeing it. I put out a song called Yahudim where I talked about it and I talked about that dynamic with Israelites and how America and Christians don't really want to call it what it is. They don't want to even dig into the information because a lot of times, uh, you know, Israelites have been labeled as the boogeyman. So whatever, whatever kind of scholarship we offer, it just automatically gets dismissed as quote unquote occultic. Uh, y'all throw that term black in front of Hebrew Israelites. So it's a lot of, it's a lot of buzzwords that get tossed in there. So I'm interested in seeing how Christians react to this because he is saying some of the stuff that some of us Hebrew Israelites, uh, been saying a lot of us ain't cool with the gay agenda. We've been going hard about abortion. Like this ain't new for us. We've been going hard about hip hop culture. We've been going hard about all these things that ha have been designed to tear down the true people of Yah. Um, and we always get brushed off as being part of some cult, even though I think what's dope and this kind of like a, a side note what's dope is that you see in Kyrie and you see in Ye both say that we Israelites, but as far as a religious perspective, Kanye is telling you he a Christian and Kyrie is telling you that he's an omnist. You know what I'm saying? So that's, those are two different religious perspectives. They just labeling a heritage that they come from like but that might mean different things to different people for, as far as the scriptures is concerned the law statutes and commands are our foundation the torah the instructions and we build from there and anybody who follows scripture they got to go by that same standard but you know a lot of different religions specifically christianity islam they kind of shift off of that so uh yeah man this will really digging in right now Talking about buck breaking, uh, <laughs> you know, how can you take a guy from 11 billy down to 400 milli? That's still a lot of bread, of course, but it's like, who are these people? Like, why is nobody questioning, like, who are these people? You know what I'm saying? Like, how they got that kind of control over the financial system? And if they can do that to somebody as powerful as Kanye, who, or let me not say his name like that, somebody as powerful as Ye with 11 billy, you know what I'm saying? And got his hands in all these different projects and all these different um, businesses. And they can just snatch it at once. Y'all should be asking the same question. Who are these people? You know what I'm saying? And uh, this song dropped right on time because you got you got uh, Ye just doing a, a quick little interview with the paparazzi popping up on him. And he's saying, yo, these, is, these people is doing occultic practices. You know what I'm saying? Sacrifices. He's, he admitted his mom was a sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? Like, not necessarily saying that he did it, because I always assume, from my perspective, that he never was cool with them doing what they did to his mom, right? And I got to say that, I got to say that, like, potentially, like, I don't know. I'm just going by what he's saying. He's saying she was sacrificed. I don't assume that he was the one that made the call. I just think that they knew she was important to him, and they chose her. And I think that's part of the process. I think a lot of times my people sign up with these people, with these demonic contracts, not knowing what they're getting into, and they get so deep in it <clears throat> and do some things to shame themselves, embarrass themselves, and these people got their whole weight over their head, which is what Kanye just talked about in his interview. Uh, but let me get back to this song. Uh, I think it's very powerful that he said, basically, stay in your place, nigga. Uh, yeah.
He is, yo, Bizzle is an expert. He's he's a he's all all pro at, you know, he's a superstar. Matter of fact, you know what I'm saying we put in the sliders up. We he a superstar in articulation. Like nobody, I've never heard anybody articulate as well as this brother. Uh, the only other brother I've heard articulate just as well is my brother Ishan. But uh, no, uh, as far as these songs is concerned, but. Man, this boy Bizzle, man, when he's when he got a when he sit back and peep something and he want to talk about it, you want to hear about it in an expert way. Ain't gonna be no mistakes made about what he's saying. So, when this brother said fake Jews, you gonna have to really dig into that. Why is even Bizzle saying that? You know what I'm saying like he telling you he a Christian man, he not a Hebrew Israelite. So let's dig into this song even more. We only about halfway through. Uh, I appreciate you if you still sticking around. You don't have to listen to me to to hear this song, uh, but I do appreciate you sticking around. Let's get back into it. On the daily, uh -huh. you can kill babies. Okay. You can say a man got pregnant by a lady. Really? The things that you can't say don't make you question why what you can't say is gravy. Uh -huh. I'ma kill a nigga. nigga. I'ma kill a Jew. Jew. One of those are wrong. Uh -huh. One of those are cool. cool. One of those will get a rich black man canceled. The other one will put a new Grammy on his mantle. Yeah. But what do I know? Uh -huh. I'm just a Christian rapper. rapper. Black entrepreneur. Black father active. Yeah. Black husband rapping like he care about a black life. Black philanthropist water to africa and the flint black man of god with a catalog your children can rap along with in the car with you and it's hard what you and i ain't True. saying this so y'all support me i'm just trying to show you what y'all been calling corny oh. people remember the narrative is imperative yep. what other reason would you slip on g hey where i'm from <laughs> where you where i'm from I'm from north philly right when you show love to somebody it's considered being joe it's another it's another way you can talk about it but it is what it is. I'm going to be Joe. I'm almost 40 years old, man. When my brother's doing something great, I'm going to show love to it. Yo, this brother Bizzle catalog is fire. I'm gonna keep, I'm, uh, it's nothing corny about his catalog. It's nothing corny about nobody he rock with. So, and it's a lot of, it's a lot of Christian rappers because that, that's been my exposure. But also Israelite rappers who y'all are probably trying to label as corny, but a rap circles around a lot of, a lot of these industry dudes as mad corny with these goofy nursery rhyme rhyme schemes these brothers is really saying something but i think we living in a time where brothers is waking up sisters is waking up and like yo if we gonna listen to rap let's listen to the rap like he said we can listen to it in the car with our kids that's not degrading our women that's not degrading our men painting our men as murderers and painting our women as whores right as worthless people as uh the book of proverbs would call it so Man, I'm loving this. I'm loving this record. I'm going to get right back into it. So choose Barabbas. We still choosing the killers over the hillers, huh? We still follow whatever leaders they give us, huh? Look at the ones with the most influence. They won't go against the grain. They paid to make the grain look doper to us. I digress, y'all. I just be over here corny watching all the cool rappers put a dress on. I just want you to take a look at the industry. Hollywood and music. Look at the symmetry. Look at what they push. Look at what they claim to be about. Look how anybody in disagreement get weeded out. Think about what you and them agree about. Abortion is same sex and one result they both bring about death. But God is life, so the plan is murder your seed and make sure it don't get planted. Y'all remember God made a promise to Abraham to multiply his seed. Now look at Satan's plan. He got his brainwashed so bad. We march for the right to do it to ourselves. Look, ma, no hands. But you don't think the devil real, so you can't see it. So you never understand why they hate Jesus. Just beware of wickedness in high places. Claiming they Jews, but they the synagogue of Satan. Business. I was on the plane the other day, and I'm watching this movie called Ocean. Wow. Wow. He going to talk for another minute. I've already went too long, so I'm going to let y'all go check out the record. <clears throat> um, yeah, go check out Bizzle Catalog. Go check out his artists again. You got Jared Sanders. You got Bumps. You got uh, Dayton. Dayton himself has a label full of dope artists, uh, one of them being uh, my bro C4. Uh, check out some of these Christian artists who <clears throat> we may not agree theologically, but these are genuine men in faith, men of faith. You know what I'm saying? And I think that we living in an age of awakening. So as the truth begins to come out, you'll see a lot of these brothers who've been strong in the Christian faith, 
just be strong in the faith in general. You know what I'm saying? It don't necessarily got to be labeled Christian. But if they want to label it Christian, it is what it is. I know Israelites who label it Christian. It is what it is. That's not that deep for me. I personally don't use the title. I feel like it's a little bit too much negative history behind it. I don't think it ever necessarily represented what the apostles was teaching or what the Messiah was teaching or what the prophets, you know what I'm saying? It just, it's just, it's a nasty term for me, but I respect uh, my brothers in uh, Christian hip hop. Of course, there's a lot of dudes in Christian hip hop I don't rock with and you just see me not talk to them. That's all that is. But <laughs> outside of that, um, I don't, and I don't want to make it seem like I talk to these brothers. Like I just appreciate what these guys are doing and y'all going to see more reactions from me moving forward on the music that's talking about something. Um, one of the artists that I really dig on the Israelite side of things is the brother Anaviel, the servant. Go check him out as well. Um, and with that, I'm not going to take up no more of y'all time. I appreciate every minute that you spent. Like, share, subscribe, and stop playing with me, man. Okay.